Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. Chris Fitzsimon, I want to ask you, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't? Well, we were talking about the congressional campaigns. One of the vulnerable, vulnerable incumbents is George Holding, the Republican in the 2nd District, running against Linda Coleman. Usually elections work from the top down, but there are some political folks in Raleigh these days that think uh, Linda Coleman is going to be helped by very spirited legislative races the Democrats are waging in Wake County. Mac Paul running against John Alexander being a primary example. A lot of money and effort to turn out voters and a lot of resources in that campaign. And when those Democrats go to the polls to vote for a Democratic legislative candidate, they're obviously going to pull the lever for the Democratic congressional candidate. So in this, it's a bizarre year all around, but I find it interesting that some consultants actually believe there will be sort of a bottom-up effect on our congressional races that we haven't seen before. Does the fact of the DCCC's red to blue campaign and all the con uh, campaign money that's coming into Coleman's uh, campaign, is that going to have that much effect? Well, uh, it has some effect. It makes it a, more of a level playing field because Holding obviously has more resources of his own he could put into the race and national fundraising. But I'm just fascinated that the, the, there are local elections that actually may have an impact on the congressional races and usually you think of that as the other way around. Y it, yes, that's right, top down. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.